Baseball season is underway in the Mexican Summer League. The LMB season began on Thursday, May 20th. I was hoping to do a season preview before the season began, like I do with the Asian leagues. But since I already missed my chance to do that, this video will be an in-season report, like I do with the European leagues. So you can see what's going on inside the LMB, in case you haven't been following. There was no season in 2020. It was the first time in the league's 96 year history that an entire season was cancelled. This year the regular season schedule has been reduced to 66 games, from the usual 120. With a shorter season comes a greater sense of urgency to be competitive, and these early season games become more important. Interest in the LMB is up this year because several big name ex-major leaguers are playing for LMB teams. Another thing generating interest is that there are two more teams than there were in 2019. One ball club, El Aguila de Veracruz, was revived after a three-year absence. The other one is Mariachis de Guadalajara, a brand new expansion team. So a shorter, more intense season, some big name signings, and two new teams. Combined with the fact that people are really excited to have summer baseball in Mexico back after a canceled season, the 2021 LMB season is an extra special one. If you've never followed the LMB before, now would be a good time to start. The LMB's official YouTube channel streams games live. You won't be able to catch every game, but they have live baseball every day except Monday, which is a day off for all teams. If you want access to all the games, get a subscription to Home Roam TV. Cost is 549 pesos, or about $28, for the whole season. To keep up with scores, stats, standings, and schedule, the best place is the league's official website. To read updated news about Mexican baseball, in English, covering both LMB in the summer and LMP in the winter, there's a blog that comes out at the end of every weekend covering all the news. The links to all of those will be in the description. Here are the standings as of Thursday, June 10th. In the north, the expansion team Mariachis de Guadalajara is at the top, followed closely by Toros de Tijuana. Third place, Acereros de Monclova. Fourth, Saraperos de Saltillo. Fifth, Algodoneros de Union Laguna. Sixth, Rialeros de Aguas Salientes. Seventh, Tecolotes de los Dos Laredos. Eighth, Sultanes de Monterrey. And last, Generales de Durango. In the south, Diablos Rojos del Mexico lead the way at 11 and 5. Leones de Yucatan is one game back. Third place, Pericos de Puebla. Fourth, Bravos de Leon. Fifth, Tigres de Quintana Roo. Sixth, El Aguila de Veracruz. Seventh, Piratas de Campeche. Eighth, Omecas de Tabasco. And last, Guerreros de Oaxaca. If you've never watched this league before and don't know anything about the teams, I made a video last year about the LMB. I tell a little about each team's location, ballpark, history, etc. So watch that to get to know the teams a little. Here I want to take a brief look at each team's 2021 season so far, and introduce you to some of their star players. For those who follow the LMB closely, if there's anything, or anyone, that you think I left out, that I should have mentioned, let us know in the comments. Let's start in the north. First team we'll look at is Toros de Tijuana. Toros got the season started by winning 8 of their first 9 games. They've cooled off since then, but still good enough to stay near the top. They've been led by the first three in the batting order. Second baseman Isaac Rodriguez is the leadoff hitter, and his 452 average is second best among LMB hitters. Next is Junior Lake, an ex-major leaguer and one of the Dominican League's top hitters in the winter. Third is Leandro Castro, a 403 batter with five home runs. The best known pitchers are in the bullpen. 39-year-old lefty Oliver Perez made five appearances for the Cleveland Indians this year, but is now with Toros and 44-year-old closer Fernando Rodney has 5 saves and an ERA of 113. Mariachis de Guadalajara are really making some noise in their first year of existence, winning 7 of their first 9 games, leading all of the LMB in team batting and scoring. The name you'll recognize right away is Adrian Gonzalez, who's off to a good start in his first LMB season. But the team's top hitter is Nico Vasquez, who's batting 500 through his first 50 at-bats, with a league-leading 1.307 OPS. Shortstop Luis Sardinas is another newcomer to the LMB. So far he's one of the top hitters and base stealers. Team ERA is one of the league's highest, so you see a lot of high scoring games with this team. 10 year NPB veteran Masaru Nakamura has an ERA over 5, but he gets the wins. His record is a perfect 3-0. Acereros de Monclova are the defending champions from the 2019 season, and they look like a team that can repeat. 48-year-old Bartolo Colon is giving us every reason to think he'll be throwing into his 50s. He's already won two games, ERA 422. Former Chicago Cubs infielder Addison Russell has also joined the team this year, but his first year in LMB is not off to such a good start. Saraperos de Saltillo have one of the league's top sluggers in Henry Arutia. The former Baltimore Orioles outfielder has hit seven home runs with a 765 slugging. Two other hitters to watch out for are 15-year MLB veteran second baseman Manny Rodriguez, 
and D.H. Kenneth Vargas, a star in the Puerto Rican Winter League who also spent four years with the Minnesota Twins. Algodoneros de Union Laguna. First baseman Isaias Tejeda, a 29-year-old catcher batting cleanup, is having the best season of his career, 370 on-base percentage and a 485 slugging. Rieleros de Aguas Salientes. Outfielder Eliezer Ortiz is in his sixth season with this team and is 13th in LMB. Not much power and he's not the base stealer he used to be, but he's gone from being an average hitter throughout his career to one of the league's best this year. Eric Leal, one of the best pitchers from the Venezuelan Winter League, is enjoying his first LMB season with Aguas Salientes. After three starts, he's 2-1 with a 2.08 ERA. Sultanes de Monterrey, a very successful team in the LMB, is off to an unusually bad start. They started 0-5 for the first time since 1978, and just days later the manager was fired. Starting pitcher Matt Tenuta, a 27-year-old lefty, has made three starts, 17 innings, 106 ERA, and a 106 whip. But due to poor run support, all three starts ended in no decisions. Sultanas have scored the fewest runs of any team in the North. One bright spot in their hitting has been shortstop Amadeo Zazueta. He's batting 338, on base 419. Other than that, their hitting has been pretty weak. Tecolotes de los Dos Laredos have been struggling in their first few weeks. Neither pitching nor hitting has been any good. But look out for first baseman Balbino Fuenmayor. The 31-year-old Venezuelan hit 31 home runs in 2019. He's got four so far this year. 36-year-old Brazilian Tiago da Silva has been a reliable starter. Four starts, 23 innings, 4.30 ERA, but only one win to show for it. Generales Durango are last in the north, primarily due to their pitching, with the league-worst team ERA at over eight. Hitting isn't good either. The best they've got is probably 29-year-old Dominican outfielder Aneiri Tavares, who keeps a 4.42 on base percentage. To the south we go, a lot of teams battling for the top spot. One of them is the LMB's best known team, Diablos Rojos del Mexico. The Red Devils took over first place this week when they swept two from Pericos. Second baseman Emmanuel Avila is in his seventh season with the team. In 2019 his OPS was 983. So far in 2021 it's 979. A familiar name to Major League fans is Roberto Osuna. In five relief appearances he hasn't given up a single run. Whip 0.75. Pericos de Puebla got off to a fast start but cooled off after a couple weeks and have now fallen from the top spot. Pitching has been a problem, especially the bullpen, but hitting is good, led by 25-year-old third baseman Miguel Guzman. He's batting 400 right now after batting 412 in 2019. Pericos have the highest scoring offense in the south. Leones de Yucatan are another team that got off to a fast start, winning seven of their first eight, but are two and five since. They are one of the weakest hitting teams, but Team ERA is the best among all LMB teams. First year LMB pitcher Jake Thompson has made two starts, ERA 169. Rolando Valdez has made three starts, two wins and an ERA of three. Logan Ondrusek, three starts, two wins, ERA 265. Bravos de Leon have got a pretty good balance of hitting and pitching, but hitting is more of a strength. Third baseman Agustin Murillo has joined the team after 10 years in Monterey. He's batting 318 with a 370 on base percentage. In the bullpen, they've got a reliable arm in Luis De La O. He's made six appearances, ERA 129, whip 0.86. Tigres de Quintana Roo are a pitching team. The best in their rotation is Wilfredo Boscan. In three starts, his ERA is 0.53, leading all LMB starting pitchers, but he's still waiting for his first win. Jared Wilson has started four games, won two of them, and registered a 153 ERA. El Aguila de Veracruz returned to the LMB this year, starting out strong, but then going on a seven-game losing streak last week. The highlight of the season so far has been the no-hitter thrown by Dylan Unsworth. The South African native, who is also one of the Australian Baseball League's top pitchers, is 2-0 with a 3.43 ERA in three starts. The biggest name in the lineup is outfielder Yasiel Puig. He hasn't been great, but he's doing all right. 300 batting, a couple home runs, and a few stolen bases. Infielder Alexi Amarista, another ex-Major League player, is batting around 400 from the leadoff spot. Olmecas de Tabasco are more of a pitching team. Juan Pablo Oramas, one of the best pitchers in the Mexican Winter League, is looking good in the summer too. Four starts, ERA 327. Piratas de Campeche are second only to Leones in fewest runs allowed among South Division teams. Jaime Lugo has won two of the three games he started, ERA 153. As for hitting, 40-year-old Dominican shortstop Olmo Rosario bats 345, on base percentage 439. That brings us to the bottom of the South, Guerreros de Oaxaca, most runs allowed among South teams, but also one of the best hitting teams. 
Alonzo Harris was the 2019 MVP. This year he leads the LMB in stolen bases with 11 and gives himself plenty of opportunities to steal with a 466 on base percentage and a 377 batting average. Third baseman Orlando Pena is tied for the lead in home runs with 7. Top 5 in slugging at 677. The regular season will go on until Thursday, August 5th. Twelve teams will reach the postseason, six from each division. All postseason series will be best of seven. The championship series, known as the Serie del Rey, will begin on Monday, September 6th. So if you're interested in the Mexican Summer League, don't wait to start following along, because the regular season will be over in less than two months. That's all for this one. Until next time, this is Baseball International. See ya.